this case, pointing to your guilt. And I emphasize that and reemphasize it because of the horrific and most brutal nature of this crime. It could not be worse. It's the most severe murder that has occurred that I have been a witness to as far as presiding in court or participating in as a lawyer. And for whomever asked me for leniency, and that's not part of my DNA. You know, I have two daughters, one of whom sit in this seat more often than I do, and another of whom live in a city who have to encounter people on a daily basis. And I have sons. I would like to think I know my sons and my daughters very well. Certainly, I would be in disbelief if any of them were to find themselves standing in a spot like you. But even more so, the terror imposed on the, their child and the pain and grief that you've caused. She was an amazing person, an amazing human being. And the testimony is here. And she obviously put up an amazing fight against you and left a sufficient trail for the jury to see what you did. Now, you're not a, a dumb person. You're not an, an unintelligent person. Uh, you, you, you have a, you, you've been educated, trained, and you have a degree of intelligence. You certainly have the ability to choose a different course. Um, but there's no perfect crime. Uh, these days, with forensic evidence, your whole 24 hours would recreate it almost minute by minute, mile by mile, digit by digit that's led you here and you've now been found guilty. And sentencing in this case is not difficult sentence in this case is easy, though painful it may be. The sentence of the court for murder is that you be committed to the State Department of Corrections for life. Any other sentence that can be imposed will be concurrent with life. Since you only have one life, that sentence must be served for the remaining days of your natural life. That's the sentence of the court. If you remove Mr. from the courtroom, Mr. Rowe. Just as a 